to play fading in a minute for? Yeah, good question. I want to keep my eye on him. I don't want anybody abducting my little Alfie. Well, there's no danger there, is there? Not now you've got our dad locked up. He brought it on himself. Haven't they let him out yet? I don't know what they've done. People go to prison for their rage. Oh, yeah, well, best place for him. <laughs> no, it's not. It's only been like that because she feels guilty. Oh, what have I got to be guilty about? Or maybe she reckons if my dad gets sent down, that'll smooth the way for her and the fat bloke. Eddie and me are just good friends. Since when? Since yesterday dinner time. Yeah. Well, about time, I know. So you, you're not seeing him anymore? I just said so, haven't I? Huh. Dad'll be pleased. Oh, as long as Zach's happy, that's all you two seem to care about. Oh, Wooly, not again. Afternoon. That dog's got to go. Hey, feel free to ask me where I'm going on. Sorry, what happened? Well, I've been bailed, haven't I? So you're a free man? Oh, I am till the end of next month. I'm being assessed. Hello there, boy. There you are, you are. Hey, you can do the honours. No, oh, well, he's been traumatised. You can blame him living with that woman. I take it you're referring to the woman you love? Uh, no, I left her in Santiago, more fool me. No. Have you told Lisa you're out? Why would I do that? Oh, come on, this is silly. You two were made for each other. Huh? You know what my mate Julio reckons? A man is an island, complete in himself. Yeah, that's his motto. Wise words. Somebody should put him in a book. Mrs Woods. Hi. Sorry to disturb you. You're on your own today. Yeah. Have you got a moment? Right, yeah. Deja vu, she called it. Deja vu? Rings a bell. Well, this is serious. I think she knows that I was driving. Then if she said that? Well, not yet, but it's obvious she's starting to remember. What am I gonna do? What are you asking me for? Well, if Ronnie finds out, he'll kill me. It was an accident. She was unconscious and I moved her to the driver's side. It's a criminal offence to move her body, that's what you reckoned. I'm not getting sent to jail. Well, maybe Elaine won't remember. She will. I can tell. I told you, pretending she was driving was a mistake. Yeah, well, that's no use to me now, is it? What a mess. You have to do something. Well, I'll deny it. Yeah? I say a word against mine, she can't prove anything. She's your girlfriend. So? So, Robert, sometimes you have to do the decent thing. Oh, right. Like you did when you owned up to burning down the barn. Hello there. Hey, corned beef. Don't mind if I do. Is this a bad time? Yeah, actually, me and Andy. Uh, yeah, in the cupboard over there. Cheers. You better not mention this to anyone. What did you take me for? But he's got through the first 48 hours, and, and that's crucial, isn't it? So he's showing he can beat this. Your husband is stable, but we're not taking anything for granted. We're still monitoring him closely. I've spoken to physiotherapy, and they'll be popping in in the morning to have a look at him. They will also want to speak to you. You are going to be instrumental in your husband's recovery. No. I'm going to do everything I can to help. It's not going to be an easy ride. Recovering from a stroke is a long process. Anything up to two years. Two years? Well, nothing is set in stone. That's the point, really, with strokes. It's all a bit of an unknown quantity. But he's got his drugs Hopefully and... they'll help, yeah. <sighs> he's going to get better. How well he progresses from now on really depends as much as anything on his own determination. Well, he's got loads of that. He's going to need a lot of support and encouragement. I'm with him all the way. I mean, we've only just had this little one. He had all sorts of plans. There's far too much at stake for him not to recover. He's still alive. That's the important thing. What letter? Yeah, OK, I'll have a word of that. I said I'd have a word with her, OK? When did this arrive? Who am I, the postie? Oh, right, she is for it this time. Who's for it? Debbie. What's she done now? What hasn't she done? According to this, 
She is considered to be inattentive, insolent, and needs to learn to keep her misguided opinions to herself. Muzzle it out. I'm not having this. It's not the first time it's happened. Don't be too hard on her. Remember what she's going through. Yeah, we're all going through it. Her mother is on remand in prison. Aye, uh, don't forget who put her there. Some dad you are. What did you say? I'm entitled to my opinions. Yeah? And I'm entitled to introduce your teeth to your tonsils. You see, Kane, that is what I'm saying. Debbie is in need of love and security right now, and you're allowing yourself to get wound up by this snivelling old fool. What did One you One more say? word! Charity's where she belongs. We both know that, but it's hard for Debbie to come to terms with. Now, cut her some slack, eh? <sighs> I can't do that, can I? Talk to her nicely. She's feeling helpless. That's why she's so wild and angry. You, of all people, should understand that. Where's that? Uh, Lickfell. It's the old lead mine. Kelthwaite. My granny went to school there. <laughs> she was blackboard monitor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, blimey. It's the mobile library in town. Oh, it's a pity there's not a book on Emmerdale. Ah, there will be soon. Oh, I shan't hold your breath. I thought loads of people had signed up to the Historical Society. Oh, they are, but turning research into a boot costs money. How is their fundraising going? There's talk of a jumble sale. Ooh, musty books and second-hand sandals. How exciting. Oh, you've got a better idea, have you? Yeah, slave auction. I thought slavery were illegal. No, it's a good laugh. What you do is you rope in a whole load of fellas and then auction them off to the highest bidder. What are you supposed to do with them? Well, that depends how imaginative you are. You see, a slave's there to service your needs. Believe me, I will well service by my... <gasps> you never! Yeah, he probably just <gasps> bunged up a few shelves. Yeah, DIY with the last thing on his mind. Oh, I think it's a great idea. What do you think, Louise? It'll bring in the punters. Well, OK, but, you know, only if it's done in good taste. Yeah, we don't want to turn <laughs> this place into a knocking shop. Oh, absolutely not. I'll leave you to organise everything, then. So then, can I put your name down then, Jarvis? Yeah, I hear you handy with your hands. <laughs> I go on then. I want a reserve price, though. I don't come cheap. Oh, well, minimum big five quid. Yeah, it sounds about right. I wonder if Ashley will want to offer his services. Yeah, well, if he does, I'm sure Louise will be raiding a piggy bank. Yeah, I expect she will. Hello. Something wrong? No, it's just a routine check. We won't be taking away your tube just yet. You know, I've been thinking. When Dr. Oh. Wilkley said two years, I mean, he probably just meant worst case scenario. Hey, you could put him out in no time. Oh. Terry? You uh, need to move round to his good side. Oh. Mm. It's like a puzzle, isn't it? All these little tricks we have to learn. Now we know, eh? Did you get some more beautiful every day? As good as gold. Mm. See? What? Oh. oh. I wish I knew what you were saying. If you got a pen and paper, maybe you could write stuff down. Dawn, I think you're trying to set too fast a pace. Just wish I knew what was going off in his head. He knows what you're saying, but it's going to take a while for him to learn how to communicate. How long, exactly? There's no way of knowing that, I'm afraid. Eddie's just nipped out for a minute, so I'm minding the calf. Look, I had to be honest with Dawn. Oh, I suppose honesty is as good a way as any of hurting someone. Oh, don't say that. I'm as upset as she is. I don't think you are. No, that's a fair point. Is it so difficult to keep your silly opinions to yourself? Terry could make a full recovery. I hope he does. But we can't ignore the fact that if he doesn't, then don't. She's only a young girl. She shouldn't have to cope with all of this. Well, you've hardly made her life easier for her, have you? You know, she'll probably never talk to me again, will she? Why don't you go and keep her company? <sighs> no, I best not. Dawn is your daughter. Her husband has just had a horrendous stroke. Don't you think it's time you did something positive to show your support? I can't take back what I said. Yes, but you could be there for her when she needs you. OK. Wish me luck. This isn't about you. 
Sorry, yeah. I'll see you later. Give her my love. Yeah. Prison's not all bad. How can you say that? You got sent down for nine months and didn't get out for only two years. Yeah, well, that, that was just bad luck, though. They, they let you out early if, if you don't hit people. Holy give over! What's wrong with you? Hey? Oh, great. I thought you said you were working this afternoon. Did I? Hmm. Wouldn't have come this way, but I know. She was on the loose. What's the urgent then? What? Oh, Sam said you had something to say to me. Sam? Um, I'll, I'll be off then. Hey, no, you won't. Oh, well. At least somebody's glad to see me. Oh, well. Dogs are easily pleased. How'd you get on at the magistrate's court? Like you care. I asked a civil question. But they're doing a psychopathic report on him. No, I won't stretch. Brief reckons. Oh, I was like, I'm so sorry. Yeah, well, it's too late to be sorry. Come on, are we standing here naturally? Are we going poaching? Oh, right. So yeah. Don't let the sun go down on me. Molly! Any consolation, death was instantaneous. <laughs> Can't you do math to math? I blame myself. Yeah, so you should, you murderer. Well, don't, 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 hey, hey. One death is enough, surely. Hey? You should have kept your eye on the road. You ran in front of me. Hey? You were speeding. Well, blaming each other isn't going to bring him back, is it? I'm sorry. Get out of my house! Lisa? I think it's for the best. You know where I am if you want. <laughs> You can get lost at all. I'm offering you solid. I know what you're offering. If you think a dead dog can bring us back together, you are sadly deluded. You're not going to blame this on me. If you hadn't kidnapped him, he would still be alive. There's no arguing with that. I'm as gutted as you are. Don't you tell me how gutted I am. How much do we owe you? Nothing. No, I insist. We asked you out here. Sack will pay. <laughs> Huh? No, she's upset. Ignore her. We'll give him a decent burial. Shall so, so I go and fetch Ashley? No! I'll bury the poor little mite. You were not invited. She, she don't mean it. I don't know what she means anymore. And frankly, I'm fast caring. Hey. OK, if we can't write, let's think of something else. Um, how about you squeeze my hand? He wants to say yes and twice for no. Can you do that for me? Hey? Almost. Never mind. Hey, early days. It's <coughs> early days yet. Hi, <coughs> uh, Dawn. Uh, Terry, how are you? Sorry about yesterday. I was out of order. Sit down. No. Go on. Look, you're upsetting Terry. Sorry, I'll, I'll leave you to it, yeah. We had words. It's nothing to worry about. It's only a dog. Lisa's dog. Well, she booted you into touch, so what does it matter? My life's cursed. Oh, pull yourself together. Your brother's son-in-law is at death's door. What you got to complain about? Yes! I was just wondering how Terry is today. As well as can be expected. Well, do you know when he's going to be allowed visitors? He's seeing family only. But I'm one of his closest friends. And that's something to be proud of, is it? What? Maybe if he didn't have so many friends, he wouldn't be in this position. Viv, we're all on his side. Stress. That's what put Terry into hospital stress, because nobody gave him two minutes' peace. If it wasn't Chris Tate making him fetch and carry, it was you. Getting him to go jogging, wind, rain or shine, or you sobbing on his shoulder. That is when you weren't accusing him of being a stalker. With friends like you, uh, it's a miracle he didn't succumb sooner. <coughs> Any news? And you're just as bad. All you do is booze and poach. What sort of example is that to set to someone you pretend to be friends with? What? Oh, you lot, you made me sick. <laughs> I thought 
thank you, Lord, for blessing us with this tiny life. Woolly were a good companion. He loved bones and rabbits. He greeted every day with a waggy tail and a wet snout. He was so young. Joyce. It's only a dog. We miss you, Wooly. May the Lord have mercy on your soul. It's a sad day. Very am good, Sam. Right. Uh, what a word were you? How about? Mrs. McAllister. Please, love, hear me out. I don't really want Terry to die. He's my mate. I mean, you're my daughter. You know how I panic sometimes. It's, it's scary, all this. Yeah, well, it's scary for all of us. No, please, please forgive no, me. No, I'm sick of forgiving you. What does the doctor say? I keep hoping they've made a mistake. Any minute now, they're going to say, oh, we've done another test, and Terry's just a bit run down. A couple of days sleep, and he'll be right as rain. But he won't be. He just lays there. I don't know what he's thinking, what he's feeling. If he even knows we're there. Look, I want to help you through this. Yeah, but you can't, can you? We could get a little cross, like Edna's got for Batley. How are you doing? Finished. And well, that's not very long. Well, how many ways there to say sorry? <sighs> Fair enough. Look, next time you get up to mischief, make sure you don't get caught. Right. What are you doing for my birthday tomorrow? been cancelled. You what? Birthdays are for good girls who don't call the reds ears a poisonous old trout. Well, I'm 14. Tough. Well, you can't cancel my birthday. Lisa, tell him. Tell him what, love? Oh, Wooly would want me to have a birthday. <laughs> Wooly is six feet under. Fine. Forget it. I forgot to celebrate anyway. Mum's going to prison and you lot ate me. No, we don't. Yeah, you do. All you think about is yourself. I wish I'd gone to that foster home. At least there no one makes promises they aren't going to keep. This has been the worst shame of my life. Debbie, I was only kidding. Of course you're getting a birthday. I don't want anything off you. Debbie, you're my girl. So what? But you're the one good thing that I've got. Yeah, well, I want my mum. I thought weeks were supposed to be fun. You OK? What is it? Hmm. Hey? I think your husband's worried about you. Hmm. What makes you say that? Well, look at you, you poor love. When did you last sleep? I'm OK. Well, you don't look OK, does she, Terry? Yeah. You need to think about that little one. He looks as fit a drop as you do. Ah, Mr Hope, isn't it? Yeah. Perfect timing. Your daughter's going home for the night. No, I never said that. You'll be more used to your boys once you've had a good night's sleep. I don't believe you. Come on, now. We'll all still be here in the morning. Hmm. Oh, go on. I could do with a bloke like you. I don't think Diana would approve. Well, Diana's not here. You'll be all mine, Jack. Prepare yourself for a night to remember. Did you enjoy your drive last night, then? It's all right. Well, don't sound too enthusiastic, will you? I'll get us a table. Cool, them two. <sighs> uh, a pint of white wine and two orange juices, please. Ah. Hello, Jack. Francis. Uh, can we get you on? Oh, sure. A uh, pint. Ronnie. Jack. Oh, <laughs> Miss Ellie, out of conversation's dead. <laughs> what more can I do, eh? Give that woman the best years of my life. What are the roads like in Chile? It's always there for her. Apart from when I was somewhere else. Probably have to hire a jeep. What a sorry state of affairs, eh? When a man comes home and finds that there's no fire in the air to greet him. Do you think your mate Julio could arrange that for me? Mm. What? Transport for the fertility statues. Oh, yeah. Great boat, Julio. Yeah, but uh, as long as you can keep him off the sangria. Yeah, <laughs> I'll remember that. <laughs> You're a rich man now, aren't you? Yeah. Maybe you should uh, consider taking a consultant with you, an expert in Incan antiquities. <laughs> Where am I going to find one of those at such short notice? Sitting opposite you. 
Well, if you're sure you know what you're doing, you'd certainly be an asset. <laughs> well, <laughs> welcome aboard. It's a historic moment, this. Come on, let's get a proper look at the thing. I'm in training. To be best dad in the world. Congratulations again. Yeah. Well, we'll see you soon. Well, tomorrow, probably, we'll have to wear the babies out. <laughs> <laughs>